Hi, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. As you might have heard, SolidWorks is now gearing up for its next release, SolidWorks 2010, already in beta. So in the next few weeks, I'll be filing a series of video reports and articles that show you what you can expect to see in this new version. The first thing we're looking at is SolidWorks Sustainability Express. It's a plugin that's now available in SOLIDWORKS Labs and will become part of SOLIDWORKS 2010. I'm testing out the plugin in SOLIDWORKS 2009 because at the time of this report, I'm still waiting for my copy of SOLIDWORKS 2010 to be delivered. But it works, I'm told, in an identical fashion in SOLIDWORKS 2009 and in 2010. Here's the only notable difference. If you're installing the plugin in SOLIDWORKS 2009, you'll find it under the SOLIDWORKS menu bar under Tools. A bit difficult to spot, I must say. But in SOLIDWORKS 2010, you'll find it under the Evaluate tab along with other simulation features. Let's play out a scenario. I'm a toy maker trying to determine the best options to mass produce this little axle that holds the tires in this assembly, part of my latest product line. I think I'm going to call it on the road again. The first thing I need to do is to set up a baseline. That's a standard by which other options will be judged. So I first pick my material, cold drawn steel in this case, and pick my manufacturing method as machined sanding, then pick China as my production site and pick North America as where my product will be sold and used. This creates an instant feedback on how much air or water pollution, energy consumption and carbon footprint I might expect from this process. So I set the values for this as my baseline. Now, what if I try producing the same item in, say, Europe? You'll notice that the meters, compared to the baselines, are much shorter. That's because I'm cutting down on the energy consumption and carbon that will come from transporting the product from Asia to North America. Now I'm going to try producing the same part in ABS plastic as an injection molded part. This as you will see, it's a much better option than steel, where the environment is concerned. Suppose I'm now convinced that plastic is the best option for me, but I'd like to find some other alternative materials that are similar in properties. In that case, I can try the fine similar feature. I'm going to leave all the values the same except its heat and tensile strength. I want them to be slightly higher then I get a list of alternative materials. And if I pick on any, I get an instant update on the sustainability meters right below. Bear in mind, however, that Sustainability Express currently works only on parts. So if you'd like to run this on, say, Homer Simpson, which happens to be an assembly file, you can't. But you can run the plugin on Homer's donut or his beer can. I found out that his beer can, if produced in aluminum alloy, would create 0.03 kilogram of carbon footprint, which is much better than expected, I must say. The files I used in this report, this toy assembly and Homer Simpson assembly, came from SolidWorks 3D Content Central, from Randy Thompson and Chris Taborn, so I'd like to express my gratitude to them. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering, hoping my carbon footprint is smaller than Homer's beer can.